Welcome to the sunrise service at First Congregational Church, United Church of Christ, here in downtown Columbus. Let us join together in the Easter greeting. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. We will light the Christ candle to begin this service of celebration. Be always with you. 
and also with you. Let us greet one another with the sign of Christ's peace.
for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Join me in prayer. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of each one of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our salvation. Amen. Well, they say April showers bring May flowers, so we're really glad to be here to receive the showers today. Um, I was saying earlier that one thing that I can guarantee is if we have an event in the Social Justice Park, the weather will change. <laughs> it might be sunny to begin with, the rain to follow. Uh, this morning we are delighted to be here. Uh, it's great to be outside, but it's great to be together. I mean, just amazing. What a year we've been through. And I want to tell you, I come here this morning uh, fully aware that the gospel actually is not telling the truth. All right, everybody hold yourself. Don't fall down. Don't get slain in the spirit because Reverend Tim said out loud, the gospel is not telling the truth. The last words of the gospel of Mark said, they said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. Well, we know that's not true, right? We know that the women who came to the empty tomb, or that came to the tomb to anoint the dead body of Jesus, actually said something to someone because we're here today, 2,000 years later, some words were spoken, some witness was shared. Those women were not afraid in the long run. They might have been scared in the moment, but they were not afraid in the long run. And I think that's really the message for us today. We may be frightened in certain moments of faith, but we shouldn't be scared in the long run, because fear will not guide us anywhere. There's an old saying uh, that goes something like this. Fear came to the door and knocked. Faith answered, and no one was there. Fear came to the door and knocked. Faith answered, and no one was there. We happen to be people of faith. And let me tell you, I can, I can say without any questions at all that those who are listening this morning and those who are here this morning have gone through hell in the last year. I mean, it's been awful. Let's just be honest. It's not been easy. And I'm standing next to my friend, Lanier Holt, and his family. He lost his mother this last year. This is her fir her, your first Easter without her. You know, you lost your grandma. Rachel lost her mother-in-law. Sebi has gone through family losses. And I, I've been here as a witness to the death of so many people, including your mother, from COVID-19. This has been a year like none other. And you could say in a point like this that we might as well just throw in the towel, right? We might as well just give it up. We might as well just say, forget it. I can't deal with this anymore. That the fear of facing what is next, the fear of stepping out into a year when we transition back to life together is too much to bear. I'll just stay in my house. I'll watch TV. But that's the short answer. The long answer is, we need to be together. We need the healing grace of God. We need the, we need the hope that comes from resurrection. I'm gonna share another story. Later this morning, Dr. Carl Dannenberger will carry in this candle to the sanctuary, the Christ candle, the Christ light, as we begin our service at 11 a.m., the glorious resurrection of Christ. A year ago, Dr. Dannenberger was the first person at Wexner Medical Center to be in the ICU unit with COVID-19. A year ago, to this day, he was in the ICU. He was there for almost four weeks in a coma. And when I asked him to carry in the Christ light as a resurrection story in the midst of all of us, he said, what's the day? You know, he's looking at his calendar, and he goes, it's April 4th. And he said to me, that's the day in 2020 when the doctors called my wife and said, 
they didn't think I'd make it. Sometimes a story needs to play out to the end. In fact, I'd say all the time a story needs to play out to the end. This story of our faith has an end yet. I don't know where we are in it, but we're not at the end. And the end will be beautiful. The end will be glorious. As a matter of fact, after your mom died, Lanier, you said to me, she is home. She is at peace. It's what she really was desiring for her life. That's the end of the story. It's about coming home. It's all of us finding home here and then finding home eternally. So this is Easter 2021. We will be together again very soon, all together again. And let's not let fear, as Mark tells us in the end of his gospel, be the final word on our story, but just the word for the moment that leads us to a faith that's unending. Amen. As we come together today, I just want to briefly lift up a prayer of Easter joy. Let us pray. And then we'll turn into the Lord's Prayer. Gracious God, we are so grateful to have life. We're so grateful to be together, to remember who we are and whose we are. We're grateful for uh, Rachel and Lanier, for Ruby, for, as well as for Sebi and Naomi and Melissa. As we come together today, we represent everybody in the body of Christ, not only here at Phil's Church, but across the globe. So as we come together today, we will break bread and we will remember who we are and whose we are. Let us be um, held in the arms of everlasting joy. Let us be, uh, let us receive the light of Christ from heaven to earth, and let us be the shining light of Christ on earth now. We pray a blessing upon all we say and do, and as we step into this new year of Easter joy, may we be Easter people pray that we would be the people that shine forth joy. As we come to the garden alone, let us go from this garden remembering that he is with us always, even until the end of the age. Hear our prayer as we pray together the prayer he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our mission offering today is can be found uh, in your bulletin. There's a there's a QR code that you can go to and you can uh, hey. It's nice to be around people out here. So, anyway. And you can go to the QR code in your bulletin. You can also mail a gift to the church. Today our gift uh, special offering is for one great hour of sharing. The United Church of Christ, our denomination, joins with churches around the world on this day to share this global offering. Now, you might be surprised, but maybe not, that the offering this year will go to the global community that's really facing a lot of economic hardship all over the world. And our missionaries, our people on the front lines, the way we serve, the way we give to others around the globe uh, helps people in their greatest need. One of the things I love about One Great Hour of Sharing is that we, it, it like serves as the, the mission offering in the cracks of the challenge. Where no one else, where no one else would go, our missionaries, our people, our helpers, our social workers will go into the most desperate and needed places with these gifts that you share today. So let's be generous. It's Easter. Let's give the one great hour of sharing. Thank you very much. Where refugees seek 
need safety from violence and fear, may these gifts enable caring and welcoming hearts and hands. Where hatred sullies your hope for your human family, may our gifts be a sign and instrument of reconciliation. Thank you, God, for the privilege of this offering. May it indeed do more than we can imagine. Amen. south to gather around the table of God's love. As we come, let us remember that this gift, a gift of grace, will feed us for the journey ahead. Let us pray. Gracious God, bless us as we gather here at your table today and shine your light on us and in us and through us to others, that we may be the light of Christ in this world, that we may be his hands and his feet serving and caring, and that we may be on this Easter day the joy that he brings May we share it with all. We pray in his name. Amen. We remember that on the night of desertion and, self, and, and all that happened uh, and betrayal, Jesus was at table with his disciples on that last supper evening. He broke bread after blessing it. He gave it to them and said, Take and eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he poured out the cup and said, drink this, all of you. This is the new and the everlasting covenant in my blood. Whenever you drink this cup, do this in remembrance of me. It wasn't until Easter time that his disciples were on the road to Emmaus, that they sat down with their Savior in a room, in a home. And as he broke the bread, they saw the holes in his hands, and they realized it was the Lord. It was Easter that made this feast different than all the rest. So we ask, Lord, that you send your Spirit upon these gifts and upon each of us this Easter Sunday, that as we receive these gifts, we may truly live a life worthy of your presence. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I want to tell you something. I've been saying to everybody, I'm like an urban fox. You know, I live in the city, but I hide like a fox. So, I haven't had anyone at a communion table in a long time. This is so exciting for me. So, I don't know exactly what to do. So here's what I'm going to do. We didn't practice this. You may be surprised when you hear that. <laughs> so, I'm going to take my bread and dip it in the cup and then invite Sebi to come forward. Melissa, come forward. And here's the woman behind the counter. I invite the Holmes to come forward and receive the hand of the
Let us join together. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, you guys sing the amen, and I'll sing the rest of it. <laughs> if you want to join me in the rest of it, that's fine. All right, ready? Let's practice. And as it starts raining more, let's get this sung fast. Amen. 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 Sing it over. Amen. See the little baby lying in the manger on Christmas morning. Amen. 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 See him in the temple. Amen. Talking to the elders. Amen. How they marveled at his wisdom. Amen. 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 See him at the seaside. Amen. Preaching and healing. Amen. And healing the blind. Amen. 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 See him in the garden. Amen. Pray to his father. Amen. In deepest sorrow, amen, amen, amen. Then they crucified him, amen, laid him in the tomb. Wait a second. Then they crucified him, amen, Jesus our Savior, amen. And he rose on Easter, amen, amen, amen. I hope it's dry where you are. Happy Easter, and go in peace to love and serve God. Amen. Amen. <laughs>